So there's a bee going around from flower to flower on this avocado tree. That's really good news for me because right next to this is an orange tree. And I had heard um, an avocado expert recently talking about planting avocados next to citrus can have a bad pollination rate, uh, pollen pollinization, because the pollinizers actually prefer the sweetness of uh, citrus blossoms. So even though I'm only about 15 to 18 feet away, I've actually got bees coming on here, so that's really good news. That's something I was wondering about after I planted this, I learned that, um, I heard that, you know, but hopefully that won't be a problem if I'm already seeing a bee out here. So I planted this avocado tree behind me just over a year ago. And then just a few weeks after it was planted, I went ahead and topped it. Now let me show you the difference between the topped and the untopped, and then I'm gonna talk some about the uh, pros and cons of topping it. So there's the topped one there. That one's untopped. It's probably kind of hard to see because there's so much green behind it, but these are both Haas avocados and they're both about the same height. And so you see this one has multiple tops coming up, but kind of one central main one for now, but it's getting good growth off the side shoots. And yeah, they're about the same height, but this one's probably two and a half to three feet in diameter at most. And this one's easily six feet in diameter. That's because I topped it right after planting it right over here. And that really sends the growth out laterally and gives it a lot of width. So I've been really happy with this one because it's really bushy and it's got great vigorous growth. But I did notice there is a downside to topping it and that is up here is getting sun exposure. So there's not a full canopy yet to provide shade for this during a lot of the day. So it's actually gotten pretty fairly bleached by the sun here. Um, it's, pretty, it's pretty light there. So it's uh, definitely getting more sun than it should. So again, these things don't like direct sun. They need a full canopy. You really don't wanna prune these at all other than just size control. And over here we've, I mean, I don't think that's sunburn yet, but it's on the edge of that. So if you do top one of these, you definitely want to give it some sunscreen up top. So I've got some paint over here. This is just some uh, regular old fashioned exterior latex white paint. Makes it 50-50 with water. And I'm going to go ahead and paint it with that to give it some sunscreen. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that now and then I'll show you what it looks like. I probably should have done this a lot sooner, like kind of right after it had been topped or as it got some growth. But I caught it in time, so there's not really any damage at this point, so should be okay. So there it is. Got it nice and coated where it was showing signs of kind of bleaching by the sun. And didn't go crazy with it. And I try not to get too much on the leaves. And yeah, that's it. It's just some sunscreen for the exposed parts of the uh, trunk and branches that are heading toward they're getting too much sun. So overall, I'm not sure if I would say I recommend topping or not topping at this point in time. It's kind of an experiment just, just to see um, how these end up. But uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it so far because it just bushed out really good wide growth. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna top anything else at this point in time. I like this one, it's just gonna go tall and it doesn't have a lot of width at this point in the yard. So we'll just see how this ends up and I'll update this as they grow together. Uh, this one is eight months behind the topped one so it wasn't planted at the same time. So this thing will start to get bushy but it'll go up as well. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Give us a big thumbs up and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by.